My name is Kia and I've been doing CrossFit since January of 2021. My name is James and I've been doing CrossFit since September of 2020. Um, I know for me with CrossFit, I am able to actually move around a little bit more. I was having difficulty when I wake up in the morning, but since I started CrossFit, um, I can stretch a little bit more, bend a little more. It doesn't hurt to tie my shoes. And the reason that I started CrossFit is because um, as you know, a husband and a father, um, you want to make sure that you, if something happens to yourself, you're able to leave something for your family that they're taking care of. So what happened is I actually went to uh, an insurance company to get a life insurance policy for myself um, that in the event that something happens to me, my family be taken care of. And what happened is based on my height and my weight and my age and um, my medical history, um, they denied me coverage, um, and then they denied it to the point that they said I couldn't come back for two years until two years had passed to reapply. So I probably could have went to some other cheaper insurance and, and, and tried to do something else, but I, I looked at that as that was an eye-opener that I don't need to try to get around this, I need to deal with this problem. So um, I signed up for uh, uh, the Y, and the Y had CrossFit, and um, I had you know, done some research. I knew what CrossFit was, and um, so that's what started my journey. So I started. I want to say um, doing CrossFit with my husband has been actually great. Um, it actually, we actually have a better bond just from working out together. My name is Shelton, and I've been doing CrossFit for about eight years. Hypertension, strokes, um, all kind of health issues two generations ago. Um, I would say my parents and them instilling in me and my sister how important it is to stay physically active and maintain healthy lifestyles has changed that. Like my grandparents all, I didn't meet my grandparents on my mother's side because of hypertension, high blood pressure, and things like that. My parents basically from working out and changing their diet have lived 10, 15 years past their parents and still do two a days to this day at 73 and 75. So, it's had a big impact on my family. It changed the narrative. I mean, we are much more healthy and I'm hoping to pass that on to my kids as well. My name is Sarah Beck and I have been doing CrossFit for a little over three years. Um, so I was raised as a competitive athlete. I did gymnastics um, primarily all throughout my youth and then um, competitive cheerleading as well. Um, and then I got to college and the way that I had been eating and the way that I had been training um, were very different uh, than what I experienced in college. And I began to put on a lot of weight very quickly. Um, I also got diagnosed with um, a hormonal condition called PCOS. Um, and so that really affected a lot of things too. So um, at my heaviest, I got up to 265 pounds. Um, and I just really realized I was very unhappy with the way that I looked, but more than anything with the way that I felt. It teaches that discipline that we can see both from a physical component, but also from a spiritual component that, you know, if I miss a day of CrossFit, I do feel like not weaker, but I just feel like my body's more sluggish. I feel, you know, not 100%. And it teaches me that it's the same in my spiritual walk. You know, if I miss a day of devotion or prayer or whatever, and I'm not working out those spiritual muscles, then it, it really translates the same way. And I also really love pull-ups. Um, I was terrible at them whenever I started. It had been a long time since I had done gymnastics, so I could do like a quarter of a pull-up <laughs> whenever I first started. Um, and now I'm able to string together like 10 uh, which is huge and so awesome. So, um, 
sometimes it's hard to walk in the gym, but it's never hard to walk out because you just feel so much better about yourself. Even if it was a hard workout, and maybe if I didn't do my best, I still know that I came in and I did the work and I'm getting better.